welcome to a Sierra game. What could it be? Laura Bow and the Dagger of Amon Ra. Um, another LP -er, um, that I know of has already done this. Uh, her crabbiness has done a great LP of this um, with Laylight and uh, Zulot Jones, I believe. Um, they all did the voice acting for the different characters. It's an excellent Let's Play. I suggest you go watch it. I'm doing the talkie version um, because we all know I cannot do voices. Yeah, me and voices, not good. So, without further ado, we're going to watch the introduction and I am going to be quiet. There is little time to correct this most grievous misunderstanding, Mr. Carter. The dagger of Amman Ra must be returned to Egypt. Stay out of my way, or I'll thrash you within an inch of your life. Surely you can find a way to accommodate everybody's wishes? Who are you to tell me what I can do with my own property? Your property? What authority do you have? The authority of the Egyptian Antiquities Service. So if you don't like it, I suggest you waddle on back to Egypt and complain to your own government. Would it not be better to work this out diplomatically? This isn't a case for diplomacy. It's a case for your acceptance of the situation. It is not just my acceptance at issue, Mr. Carter. Frankly, some of our people are quite upset. Move to take drastic measures if need be. Are you threatening me, you malodorous little man? Mr. Carter, there are some who would rather fight back than allow their country to be stripped of its national treasures. Any fat savage who lays a finger on my exhibit or threatens me will find himself in deep trouble. Do I make myself clear? As clear as the water of the oasis, Mr. Carter. steamer trunk, young man. It's exceedingly valuable. It sure is heavy, Mr. Carrington. You got gold bars in here or something? The contents of my trunk are not your concern. Now be a good lad and take it to my taxi. The Countess is waiting.
New Orleans, one week later. Are you sure you've got everything? Yes, Daddy. You've got Sam's address at the paper? Yes, Daddy. You've got the money I gave you? Yes, Daddy. Don't worry. Put some money in your shoe. New York's a big city, and there's a lot of crime there. Look, I'm going straight to the paper. What could possibly go wrong? Let me give you a little more money, just in case. Dad, I've got to go. Godspeed, Laura. Call me as soon as you get there. I'll be fine, Dad. I'm going to make you proud of me. I already am, honey. Are you a secretary? Actually, I'm starting a new job as a reporter for the New York Daily Register News Tribune. My name is Laura Bow. How nice. I'm Ermgard. Is this your first trip to the big city? Am I that obvious? How could you tell? By the way you keep glancing out the window, dear. I did the same thing the first time I came to New York. The tall buildings, the people rushing around, it was all so exciting. Then I stepped off the train and got mugged. York experience. Thank you, dear. You're very kind. I've enjoyed traveling with you. Do you need any help getting home? No, dear. I'll be fine. Thank you. You're sure you'll be okay? Yes, thank you. Goodbye. Goodness gracious! My suitcase! Can you spare a dime, miss? Certainly, sir. I'm always ready to help those who are less fortunate. Well, that's just peachy. Give me all your money, then. Excuse me? Hand it over. This seems very unfair. Welcome to New York, kid. I'm not gonna let a little bad luck ruin my day. Hello, New York. Laura Bow has arrived. My destiny awaits. Nothing can stop me now.
I really want to thank you for hiring me, Mr. Augustini. For hiring you? I don't even know who you are. I'm Laura Bow. I believe you know my father, John Bow. Ah, John Bow's daughter. Now I remember. How is he? He's fine, and he says hello. He wanted to know if you still had that newspaper clipping on your wall about the explosion of the Hindenburg building in New Orleans. Yes, your father was the first cop on the scene of the explosion, and he let me into the wreckage so I could cover it for the paper. I rescued Rupert Hindenburg from his burning office, wrote about it, and made a name for myself as a reporter. I owe John a lot for that. Think you can handle being a reporter for a big city paper? I'll do my best, sir. We usually just hire men for this job. It's rough out there, and you're kind of uh, small. I can do it, Mr. Augustini. Just give me a chance. All right, as a favor to my old pal, John. But I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Thank you, sir. For your first assignment, I want you to write about a burglary. Some kind of uh, fancy knife was stolen from the Lion Decker Museum. I'll arrange for you to attend the fundraiser at 7 o'clock tonight for their new Egyptian exhibit. Everyone will be there. Tell them you're covering the society news so they won't clam up on you. You won't regret it, sir. I have a nose for news. Just keep your nose out of trouble. Here's your official notebook and your pencil. It already has Crodfaller's notes in it. Have the story ready by 3 tomorrow or you're out of a job. Laura Baines, right? Laura Bow, sir. And I believe you have the advantage. Crodfaller Rhubarb, ma'am. Though you can call me Rube. So I suppose you've already met Sam. Yes, he's very... colorful. Don't let him shake you. He's tough on the outside, but inside he's got a heart of stone. I'm sure he... Pardon me? What did you say? Never mind. Just pulling your leg. Why don't you take this desk right here and we'll get you settled in. That's very kind of you. Mr. Augustini sort of left me on my own. I have to start on this story about a burglary at the Lion Decker Museum. And that was the introduction. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, we'll start with gameplay next time. Bye all.